Now to a story 10 on your side has been following leash laws for Virginia Beach City beaches. Last week we told you about a group speaking out against proposed changes to the current city code. And tonight Virginia Beach Animal Control held a meeting hoping to discuss why they think they want these changes and to hear what the community has to say. Sit on your side's Kara Dixon has more on what went down and why residents believe there can be a compromise. Kara? Anita, Tom, after our story aired last week, the city decided to postpone any changes for at least a year. Well, tonight, both sides of the leash law debate came together and left hopeful that something can be done. That has been postponed or is not going forward at this time. Okay. All right. But applause erupted at the Virginia Beach Law Enforcement Training Academy as Officer J.D. Lynch with Animal Control announced there wouldn't be any changes to the current city code. Right now, dogs can run free on beaches any time before Memorial Day and after Labor Day. But during peak tourist season, dogs have to be leashed during certain times. Proposed changes would require dogs on leashes all the time during the whole year. Some in the audience were for it, like June Barrett McDaniels. She says her dogs and her 98-year-old mother have been attacked multiple times by those off leashes. So I think there's a lot of people that are avoiding the beach that just sort of avoid dogs now. And I think it's important that dog owners hear that point of view. Others like Kara Novick and Joe Wright want to keep the laws the same. They believe it's owners who don't know about the laws that are causing all the problems. Those people with dogs who are running over your towels, who are pooping and not cleaning up after themselves, or who are attacking, they're not supposed to be out there during those times. And I feel like a lot of people don't know that. Animal Control says it will work to enforce the current laws and are hoping to hire more officers to do so. Novick says responsible owners like them will also do their part, and she believes if everyone works together on a compromise, they'll all come out on top. I think what we accomplished by working together and working with Wavy 10 and City Council, we're going to be able to work together as a group to work with the city and the police to figure out how to educate people and try to get rid of the problem so that this issue doesn't come up again in a year. Now, Virginia Beach police say that last year there were more than 1,100 exposure attacks in the city, meaning a dog either bit or scratched a person or another dog, and there were only 18 that happened on the beach. Now, there will also be a committee put together to discuss this issue. Reporting live in Virginia Beach, Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.